Have a nice day student. Today we discuss about the improvement in crop yield. We continue the chapter improvement in food resources. Improvement in food resources in the last class we have discussed about it. Types of crops. Today we discuss about the improvement in crop yield. How we can improve the crop, crop production? So we call it the improvement in crop yield. What is the crop? Crop is the growing of same kind of plants in the agriculture field. We call it the crop yield. It means its production. Crop production is called the crop yield. How we can increase it? So we having the three basic criteria through which we can improve the crop production. That is the first criteria. We call it the varietal improvement. It means we improve the variety of crops. We call it the varietal improvement first. Second, crop production management. Crop production management. Crop production management means. Uh, किस तरह से हम क्रॉप की प्रोडक्शन के लिए उसकी जो टेक्निक से क्रॉपिंग टेक्निक्स को मैनेज करें और उसका प्रोडक्शन इंक्रीज करें वी कॉल देम क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट एंड थर्ड वन वी कॉल देम क्रॉप प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम इंसेक्ट एंड पेस्ट सो दीज आर द थ्री बेसिक क्राइटेरिया विच कैन बी यूज फॉर द इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ क्रॉप्स और वेर production of crops so first of all improvement in crop yield so what are the steps of agriculture practices so first of all we discuss briefly discuss about the agriculture practices or agriculture technique in which are used for the production of crops agriculture techniques which are used for the production of crops for example the first technique normally we call the preparation of soil in this technique we prepare the soil for the cropping purpose or for the agriculture practice we call it them soil preparation a preparation of soil the second technique we call it the sowing in which we sowing the seeds in the soil which germinate and produce in the new plants or plant leaves second technique third technique we call them irrigation we irrigate the crops the irrigation technique in which we provide the water to the crops we call it irrigation now next technique we call it the application of fertilizers and manure in the agriculture field application of fertilizer and manures in agriculture field fertilizer and manure are the substance or molecules or substance which provide the nutrients to the growing crops now next we call them weed control weed are the unwanted plants so weed control are very necessary or uh, is very important for the controlling of weeds or unwanted plant in the agriculture field which give us more production now next we call it the crop protection from insects these are the techniques which are used by the agriculture by the farmers in the agriculture field for growing of crops next harvesting of the crops and last is storage of self storage of food grains storage of food grains so these are the techniques which are used the farmer for the growing of crops in the agriculture field now how we can improve the variety of crop we call them varietal improvement varieties varieties are the types of crop for example rice or wheat rice and wheat having the so many varieties so we call it the improvement in their varieties we call them improvement varietal improvement of improvement of crops so we having certain method through which we can improve the variety of crops or crop so what is the first important method through which we can increase the quality or quantity of varieties so first of all we call them genetic manipulation genetic manipulation is the technique in which we manipulate the genes 
and increase the increase the quality and quantity of variety we call them genetic manipulation in the genetic manipulation we manipulate the genes how we can manipulate the genes we use the new techniques so many new techniques are available one of them we call them recombinant dna technology which is used for the improvement of crop variety so such technology or such techniques are used for the we call it the recombinant dna technology or rdna technology which is used for the production of new varieties or desirable varieties so what are the main objectives of manipulation genetic manipulation in this technique so in this technique the genetic manipulation it means uh, we develop the new varieties with the help of uh, changing the genes we call them genetic manipulation so what are the objectives of this technique yeah what are the objectives of this technique the so first of all develop high yielding varieties high yielding varieties high yielding varieties it means the varieties which give us good production we call them high yielding varieties now next improve the quality of improve the quality of quality of food grains the next early and uniform maturation next one insensitive to the light and temperature we develop such type of variety which are insensitive to temperature or light insensitive to light and temperature the crops which are insensitive to light or temperature it means its production will not affected by the abiotic factors ab iska jo production hai crop ka ये इन एबायोटिक फैक्टर्स पर डिपेंड नहीं करेगा मतलब इससे अफेक्टेड नहीं होगा इन द केस अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वी कॉल देम वाइडर एडेप्टेबिलिटी वाइडर एडेप्टेबिलिटी वाइडर एडेप्टेबिलिटी इट मींस द वैरायटी कैन ग्रो इन द वाइड एरिया बिकॉज़ वी नीड द गुड प्रोडक्शन एंड द गुड क्वांटिटी आल्सो सो वी नीड द वाइडर एडेप्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द क्रॉप एंड नाउ अ लॉजिंग ऑफ resistant genes losing of resistance power against pathogen and last desirable agronomic trait desirable agronomic trait agronomic it means the character or the part of the plant which is are useful for the human mankind we call them agronomic trait for example in the case of wheat we need the wheat grains in the case of sugar cane we need the stem of the sugar cane because the eatable part is sugar cane is a stem so we need the desirable agronomic character so these are the some objectives which are used for the developing the new varieties or high yielding varieties through the genetic manipulation so what are the steps which are used for the genetic manipulation so they are the three main steps first steps which use for the genetic manipulation so what is the first step that is the first step we call it the introduction and second step we call it them selection and third step we call them hybridization introduction it means first of all we identify or introduce the new varieties or varieties which is develop into the new varieties so introduction is the selection of superior varieties it is the identification of identification or introduction of introduction of varieties फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हमें मान लीजिए बीट की वेराइटी को इम्प्रूव करना है तो किस वेराइटी से हम इम्प्रूव करेंगे इस वेराइटी को बिकॉज वी कैन डेवलप द थिंग्स विदाउट एनी अदर लिविंग बींग और विदाउट एनी अदर लिविंग सबस्टांस सो वी नीड द सम वेराइटीज विच कैन डेवलप इन टू द न्यू वेराइटीज 
suppose we want the develop development of good varieties of wheat or rice so how we can develop we need the some basic varieties or some indigenous varieties these indigenous varieties develop into the new varieties indigenous varieties which is developed into the new varieties so the identification of these indigenous varieties is called the introduction which is developed into the new varieties so the identification of this indigenous varieties is called the introduction now next is selections how we can develop its productivity so this is the second step in which we cross the two varieties so of this varieties we having the two variety a and b both are not equal varieties one is the superior in the case of production suppose the variety number 1 a superior in production while the variety b is superior in the case of superior in disease resistance so these two varieties having the two different features we incorporate these two features and develop into the new variety these two features are incorporated or by the incorporation of two features we develop a new variety this variety is known as the hybrid variety we call it the hybrid variety and this production is known as the hybridization this hybrid variety and development of hybrid variety we call them hybridization hybridization is the process in which we mix the two different varieties or two different living uh, varieties which is superior in their some characters and these characters are mixed up and develop into the new variety we call it the c variety so here the c variety is superior c variety is superior as compared the a and b variety it means we use the a and b variety and develop into the new c variety this c variety is superior as compared to their both parents so this variety is known as the hybrid or this process is known as the hybridization so this is the important method for development of new varieties now another important concept where we can do the hybridization kahan par hum hybridization implement kar sakte hain that is the first point inter variety do variety ke beech mein we can do it so we call it inter varietal hybridization second one inter specific it means between two species between two species and the third one we call them inter generic so these are the three basic criteria in between we can hybridize the crop or cross we can match the cross between them inter varietal it means between two varieties we can form the new variety by the crossing of by the crossing of two different varieties suppose we want the new variety of mango we can cross the two varieties of mango we call them inter varietal whenever we cross match between two different variety in the case of inter species whenever we cross the plants cross the varieties in two different species so such type of crossing is known as inter specific whenever between two genera we call it inter generic so these are the two different type of three different type of steps in which we can grow the crops thanks for today and have a nice day